Good Tuesday morning with Breezy News. I'm Chris Davis. Outside right now, 64 degrees with some showers south of Kosciuszko. Your forecast is on the way and online now at breezynews.com. The city of Kosciuszko's municipal primary election is today. City Clerk Hart Pettit tells Breezy News that there is only one alderman running with opposition. So only voters in one ward need to show up. Only residents from Ward 4 will need to come and vote at the Itala County Coliseum on Tuesday, May 5th. All other candidates are running uncontested in the 2009 municipal elections. Pettit says there are 1,234 registered voters in Ward 4. The primary will be at the Otala County Coliseum. And, of course, Breezy News will be there to bring you results. Officials take office on July 5th. Weather for the election today, we're expecting a 30% chance of showers and possibly thunderstorms with a high expected at 79 as a warm front is uh, stalling across the area. Breezy 101 and participating Kosciuszko merchants want you to win the Breezy 101 Mother's Day giveaway. Stop by and register today through Thursday to win the following. A day spa from Leonard's, a picture from Josephine's Fine Gifts, a Wix and More candle from Metalla Discount Drugs and Gifts, a Burt's Bee gift set from Claude Julian's, a $50 gift certificate from Traditions and Trends, a Diamond Journey heart pendant from Jim Day Jewelers, dinner for two at the Rustic Kitchen, a music box from Patterson Jewelers, India Handcraft from the Pickles Drug Store, And one lucky winner will be drawn this Friday morning just after 7. Register to win the Breezy 101 Mother's Day giveaway. And happy Mother's Day from all of us at Breezy 101. Mississippi's largest Catholic diocese is recommending changes in the communion ceremony as a precaution against swine flu, and the Mississippi Baptist Convention says sick people should not go to church. There were no confirmed cases of swine flu in Mississippi as of Monday, but health officials warn it could just be a matter of time before the virus shows up here. A handful of cases have been confirmed in neighboring Alabama, Louisiana, and Tennessee. Bishop Joseph Latino of the Catholic Diocese of Jackson says in a message posted on the church website that parishioners should not share con- consecrated wine or shake hands. He also suggests parishioners receive communion wafers in their hand instead of on their tongue. The Baptist Record, the Mississippi Baptist Convention's weekly newsletter, said people should not come to church if they're sick. The convention also posted a disaster manual on its website that deals with possible influenza pandemics along with tornadoes and hurricanes. Atala County Fire and Rescue Units report a couple of downed trees Sunday as a result of storms that moved through the area. Crews removed a tree that blocked Highway 35 South at 7.23 a.m. They also responded to a downed tree call at 8.15 a.m. on Atala County Road 1140. They spent about 45 minutes removing that tree. Crews also responded to an accident at 11.30 a.m. Sunday at the intersection of Highways 19 and 14 just south of Kosciuszko. No injuries were reported. Kosciuszko firefighters responded to one call over the weekend. Sunday at 7.49 p.m., they were dispatched to Weatherly Street, where a tree was on fire. They extinguished the small blaze. Kosciuszko police report several misdemeanor arrests from the weekend. Friday at 9.08 p.m., Officer Hugh Curry arrested 20-year-old Christopher Luke at Wendy's and charged him with improper equipment and driving on a suspended license. Saturday afternoon at 321, a traffic stop by Corporal Danny Groves on South Natchez Street yielded the arrest of 34-year-old Nathan Dubose, who is charged with driving on a suspended license, driving without insurance, and contempt of court. Saturday at 4.18 p.m., Officer Chris Busby arrested 44-year-old Todd Patrick after an incident on Tipton Street, charging him with disobeying a police officer. Taking a look at your forecast for Kosciuszko. Radar this morning showing some showers south of Kosciuszko in the Carthage and Philadelphia area. Uh, Those showers are generally moving to the southeast. But we do have a 30% chance of scattered thunderstorms developing this morning and this afternoon. Some storms could be strong as a warm front moves in from the south and stalls across the area. The high at 79. Tonight, a 50-50 shot at showers and thunderstorms with a low at 64. And then Wednesday, a rainy day is expected. The rain chances at 80% with some heavy rain possible. The high will be 78. Rain continues into Thursday and possibly into the weekend with temperatures in the low to mid 80s. Find the latest news and weather from Kosciuszko online 24-7 at breezynews.com. With Breezy News, I'm Chris Davis.